All right, I am back with another video and today we're going to talk about how to shoot a high quality music video for free. No nonsense, no BS, completely free, truly free. So um, let's get into it. Yeah. So my name is Daves. I own a record label and a production company and it's pretty much all DIY. So. I've had to figure out ways to cut costs and put out high quality content for my artists and people that hire me to do stuff on a low budget. So I'm gonna speak to y'all about how I get it done. So um, the first thing you're gonna need is the knowledge. <laughs> I'm telling y'all this is straight facts, no nonsense, no BS. So I have to keep it real. You need to have the knowledge on how to do those things because if you don't know the basics of exposure you know, your gear, the camera, stuff like that, then you're gonna have doo-doo quality videos, okay? So the knowledge is first and it's completely free to get. You can go on YouTube, learn, because that's what I did and that's what most people do because the information is out there for free and you don't have to pay thousands of dollars for film school, so that's one. Number two, you need gear. Now, you might be thinking, but gear costs money, so you told me this is supposed to be for free. Well, yeah, but here's the thing. We all have this in our pockets. That's right. The iPhone can shoot high quality music videos. Now, if you want it to be the best, it's gonna be the iPhone 15 Pro. And I know for a fact that it can shoot high quality professional music videos because I've done it. That's right. I'm gonna put some examples on the screen right now of videos that I've done for free with the iPhone 15 Pro. I gave myself a purpose, look that phone. All right, now that you guys know that I'm not full of BS, um, let me talk to you about how I record high quality music videos with the iPhone 15 Pro. They're doing the grass over there, so I'm gonna need to change direction because it's gonna pick up the noise. Hold on one second. All right, we're walking away from the noise now. <laughs> but, so the iPhone 15 Pro, everybody has an iPhone 15, iPhone 14, even the 13, and you can literally use that to shoot high quality videos. And music videos are more unique because they're usually highly stylized, so you can get away with a lot of stuff. You can get away with the, you know, a lower quality, you know, specific look. You know, like you can get away with that because you're not trying to have a film look to it or a Hollywood look to it. So you can definitely shoot music videos with, with your iPhones. I wouldn't recommend a Android, I'm sorry. The video quality on Android phones is, is not that good but I am an Android user, so I'm not trying to bash Android, I'm just telling the truth. So anyways, if you have an iPhone 13 Pro Max all the way up to the 15 Pro, you're good. Um, the way that I typically shoot is if I'm somewhere that looks really nice and I can bring my camera, I will. But most of the time, they don't let you shoot with a camera because the place is nice. For example, we went to Paris. We were in their museum there in Versailles. I don't remember, but anyways. So we couldn't really shoot there with a camera and lights and stuff like that. So I just used my iPhone 15 Pro and we got the whole video done. Um, the, the theme behind the song or the story behind the song was being away, traveling a lot and stuff like that. So it was easy to convey that if you're out and about, right? We're at the Eiffel Tower. It clearly shows the artist traveling and going places. So, it, so the fact that it was recorded on the iPhone makes it even more authentic. But at the same time, nobody knows that it was recorded on the iPhone. Like you wouldn't be able to tell that this video was shot on an iPhone. And then I did a couple more videos with the iPhone, like while I'm traveling with my friends and the artist, just make it simple. Just grab the iPhone, 
record it. Now, the difference be between an amateur who just picks up their iPhone to record a video and a video professional like myself is that <laughs> I have the knowledge on you know, exposure, what looks good, um, composition, leading lines, you know, framing, uh, you know, like slow-mo quality. So all of that filmmaking jargon that you would need to know to be able to pull off something good, I have that knowledge. So again, that knowledge is free. If you want to learn, go on YouTube and do it. So putting all those things together, you're able to create something professional, something nice, and if you're really good, something unique. Um, that's how you get it done. I didn't even use lights for those shoots. Um, and if I do, it's small portable lights. Cause remember, I like to travel light. So I don't have the time to rig up stuff and you know, doing all, yeah, you know me, I like simple. So I always keep, I always keep it simple. So, um, yeah, these videos that I'm showing you on the screen right now cost nothing other than me and my time. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you can say that, well, you travel to France and that costs money. Yeah, but we weren't there to shoot music videos. We were there to do other things. And then in the process, I just grabbed my camera, well, grabbed my iPhone and shot the videos. So it was completely free, no BS. Anytime that I see an opportunity to film something, whether it's content or music videos, sometimes even a short film, we can just grab whatever gear I have on me, which is now the iPhone 15 Pro, and we do it. So, and now that I have the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, it's even simpler to do it because that camera is the best convenient camera ever. I spoke about that in my last video, so if you wanna check it out, I'll put some links on the screen or something or in the description, but anyways. So now if you don't wanna shoot free music videos and you wanna add a little bit more budget to your production, then you can start renting sets or locations or Airbnbs and you know depending on what your music video is about you can pull off a lot of things like don't let people make you feel like your video is not good enough because there wasn't a whole big production team behind it um, you know like you didn't have some big director doing it like don't know all of that stuff is for the birds because I've done videos that was simply either the artist just talking to the camera performing or even have a storyline and those videos have done well and I know that it's not just nonsense because the artist came from zero subscribers like maybe 3,000 followers and after we started dropping videos consistently and making content consistently with the iPhone his numbers shot up so it's all about the mindset, it's, it's about the product. And for music vi videos, the main product is the music. And then of course, the video helps um, elevate the music. And if you're a serious artist, you should think about branding. So then the video needs to match with your branding. And I'm not gonna talk in great details about those things. That, that's gonna be for maybe another channel that where I talk about the music industry. but. Yeah, so truly free. Um, and don't talk to me about the iPhone is not free. Well, it is free because you have an iPhone in your pocket. <laughs> you, have an, you did not spend money on an iPhone to shoot music videos. You spent money on an iPhone to make calls, to text people with the blue bubble uh, for iMessage. If you're using your iPhone to make music videos, then that's a plus. You didn't pay for it <laughs> to do music videos. So other than iPhone 15 Pro, you might be thinking, well, I need lights and that costs money. Sure, but remember, we're doing a free music video. That means we use natural lights. We use the light bulbs that's in the house. We use the light bulbs that's in the whatever venue or facility that you're at. You use that because you can get high quality videos with the lights that's around you. You can use the sun. If you don't wanna use the sun and the sun is too harsh, you can find ways to modify the lights that's coming out of the sun or that's coming from the sun by taking a bed sheet or whatever it is and soften it up and things like that. It is truly free. Like, I'm not making this up. I do it all the time. <laughs> so truly, truly, it is very simple. You just have to have the knowledge and the vision and you will be able to do it. 
Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue with this series of just walking and venting and renting. Um, but I, I do a lot, um, but I don't have people to record the behind the scenes stuff. So it's hard for me to show y'all, but I'm going to find some clips and some pictures of when I'm on set and kind of like upload them throughout the videos that I do. So you guys can see like how simple it truly is. Like I'm a simple guy, man. Like I'm, I'm not going to spend 10 hours on set doing a music video because it's not needed. Don't let somebody charge you $5,000 for a music video when your vision doesn't cost that much and you need money for marketing. <laughs> so anyways, we are gonna, that's gonna be a topic for another video, but I wanted to come here and talk to y'all about how to shoot music videos for free. If you have any more questions, let me know um, in the comments maybe. If you wanna subscribe, do that too. And that's pretty much it. I am out.